Hey guys, going on? I speak and welcome back to another Daybreak Reaction video. We're back on the thumbnail uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, this video is titled, We Upgraded Our Starter Decks Again. So we're clearly getting even bigger and better things out of these starter decks. Uh, but we have a couple of things just on this uh, this thumbnail. Now, I, was, I think he's probably going to talk all, talk about all of this, but I want to just take a look at what we actually got. So first thing, uh, first, first thing I'm, I'm seeing... Uh, right here in the back, uh, there is a Stellar Sundial. Um, and based on the fact that he's saying we're upgrading them again, not only do I think Stellar Sundial is going to get revealed, what I'm going to guess is that Stellar Sundial is going to be a promo card that you get out of the starter deck immediately. And I think, I forget what the other Ascension line, um, I forgot what the first ascension of that ascension line is, the one cost of the other starter deck. I forget what it's called. Uh, but I'm assuming that one also was going to have a stellar promo in it. And basically, you're going to get three copies of Sundial in the Chrono Dial starter deck. Uh, and of those three, one of them is going to be stellar, guaranteed. And then the chase card in the starter deck is going to be the stellar Chrono Dial. That is what I'm guessing. We'll see. But also, it maybe looks like we're also getting stellar rock in a hard place. Interesting stuff. We can also see right here on the right, I'll try to like zoom in uh, for you guys. Right here on the right side, we have obviously Sundial. I believe that, is that Chronodile or is that the middle? That's Chronodile. Poseidon, Rock in a Hard Place, and what looks like Kerbis. Uh That's all going to be inside the starter deck. So um, there's that. Let's get into the actual video though. All right, here we go. I told y'all I was improving the stutter decks to make them more and more competitive every single set, and Daybreak is no exception. Let's break down the Chrono Dial starter deck and some stellar surprises hidden inside. Interesting, two stellars. We're counting down 25 days. I think we already Daybreak know what both of them are, but we'll see. 12, so mark it Which, by the way, uh, comes at the pre-order start in, at the time of recording, this six days. So uh, get your pre-order uh, dates ready. Uh, and get get those pre-orders in. Um, if you're a Shadow Stars member, they open one day early on July 11th, so five days. Keep that in mind, all right? On your calendars, let's talk set list for this Chrono Dial starter deck, which is absolutely nuts. Obviously, we're going to be kicking quick, this off with... Real quick, I'm going to move my mic a little closer to me because I forgot it's in a different position. Okay, Chrono let's Dial continue. and three sundials and a Nomo Dial. The opportunity to turbo your sundial into a Nomo Dial in your end phase. Yeah, this is and expected. And around to go right into Chrono Dial is massive. Let's not forget about some solar elestrals with Plucky providing you Too that plucky, divine nice. surge. Being able to search out your Poseidon, which makes an appearance in this deck. Two foamies gives you a... You know, I'm kind of... I, I guess I understand why we're getting Poseidon over um, Apollo. Uh, since it is a two-cost water elestral as the uh, primary focus. I'm still a little shocked, though, as to us getting that and not um, Apollo. Because I would assume he would want Apollo to be um, more easily accessible in these. Maybe the um, other starter deck. Again, I'm forgetting the name of it. Maybe that will have Apollo, but we'll see. But Poseidon's Crucial in this one. Float so Foamy, good one. That can get you out into your other water elestrals without any problems. And we've also included two Tad Puffs into this deck to be hmm. able to special cast out your two nice. elestrals with ease. And also just Epic. Get out Love that. elestrals in general. Tad Puff is going to be very, very important to play in Chrono Dial, by the way. Uh, for anyone that's looking to play it, if you go uh, Tad Puff, if you special cast a Tad Puff, you can... Um, you can then immediately normal ascend into Noma Dial and then immediately normal uh, special ascend after that into a Chrono Dial. So you can, if you open Tad Puff Noma Dial, you get Chrono Dial turn one. So Tad Puff, very, very good in Chrono Dial decks. So keep that in mind. Galaxy provides nice one, Galaxy. Good stuff. To allow these Elestrals to hit even harder. And two Aphros provides you more draw Aphros power. Aphros in here. Nice. Jotagua provides you that healing. Jotagua that even so in well here. Nice. For. Two Eddie, our brand new water Elestral. Love to see Eddie. I love to see Eddie. Elestrals, and paired with Rock and a Hard Place, can special ascend into Kurabis, a brand new non-attack water Elestral that can utilize Poseidon to full effect to destroy cards on the field and heal spirits. Absolutely. So the thing about this I really like, I'm very happy they're putting Kurabis uh, in the starter deck, uh, even though the starter deck is not based off of it. So that's very, very interesting because for anyone that missed it, Kurabis is going to be a foil rare. And a full art in the an actual daybreak, uh, the booster box. Um, in terms of uh, the starter decks, we really haven't really we haven't seen like any two cost Elestrals necessarily that were like foil rares. 
in the in the base set, uh, not in base set. Sorry, in the um, booster boxes, be a common in here. Or not not common, a non foil rare uh, inside the starter decks. That's very very nice that we're getting this. We're getting the entire core of the Curbist line just in the starter decks. That's really really nice. Really nuts. We've also tossed in a Porcutide to round Love out that, our Porcutide. in what is by far our best starter deck so far. Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy, though. Like, you get three of these, you get three Chronodile, uh, you get three Kurabis, you get all the Eddies that you need, you get Rockin' Hard, you get Rockin' Hard Place, you got basically all the new water cards is basically what you get from this. All of them, just by all a full playset of them, just by getting three, cop three starter decks. And then you get nine packs on top of that, and supposedly... Some free stellars. Let's Moving see. Moving on to the runes, we've got two Nectar of the Gods Nog, for Draw nice. Power and two Ambrosia to hit your Love that. Deck. This deck does not feature Apollo. However, the Pharaoh Geist starter deck will feature Apollo. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Pharaoh Geist starter deck featuring Apollo. That's good at the very Apollo. least. But this one features Poseidon, the Water Divine Rune, and two Trident of Poseidon, so be able to activate the Trident of Again, I understand why Poseidon is in here. I kind of just wish it was Apollo since we did already have a starter deck that had a uh, Poseidon in it. But... I, I get it. I get it. I just kind of wish that we went back to older Divine Runes in set five. In set four, uh, set three and four, we got just the new uh, the new ones. That's kind of what I wish, but it is what it is. I get, I get why Poseidon's in here. your opponents from activating counter runes. Two Atlantis provides your stadium control, while cool. two Rock and a Hard Place... Two Rock and a Hard Place, really, really nice. With Eddie, ...but also provides some destruction on both Elestral and Rune... Per now, this is going to be interesting. Hang on. we got to get to the to the counter runes. Please give me a PTA reprint. Please give me a PTA reprint. I've also added in some really awesome cards to help you on your journey, including Argo. Argo, that's, that's nice. That is really nice. Oh, you can just get three of the starter deck and get three Ar three Argo. Sure, Boom, that done. That's really good. So if your opponent declares attack against you... Again, I don't think this card's going to be super amazing, but I think it, like... Dude, this is a decent card in decks that are playing, playing Golden Fleece, so I think that's Argo really set nice. Face down and Poseidon on the field, you can actually stop them from using counter runes until they destroy you. Altar of Stars reprint. Not Altar of Stars. We actually already knew about this, technically. He actually teased it in a previous uh, in a previous uh, one of these reveals. Uh, I, I already knew this was coming. This is an epic reprint. Love it this. It is here, ladies and gentlemen, and so is Gorgon's Gaze. Okay, Gorgon's Gaze. I'm fine with that. Gorgon's is definitely a card that needed to be reprinted as well. Um, I really want a, a time where Gorgon's Gaze and PTA are just reprinted in the starter and the... Uh, in the booster boxes, not the starter decks, but this is still nice. I really like the Gorgon's Gaze reprint. Can we get a PTA I'm reprint? I'm a man of the people. I got you guys covered. Both these cards are coming to the Crotodile starter deck alongside two Tsunami. Tsunami's this nice. This deck is actually nuts. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we're getting PTA. We still have one more starter deck. Hopefully PTA is in that one. Currently, the reason, by the way, why I'm really, really striving for a PTA reprint is because there are currently only two ways to get PTA. You can get it out of the Centaurber starter deck and you can get it out of um, month month five of Shattered Stars, but in that it's a foil, it's a foil rare. In the Centaur Star deck, you do get two copies of it. But if you compare that to Gorgon's Gaze, Gorgon Gaze uh, with this starter deck has now four ways to get it. You can get two from the Triferno starter deck. You can get two from this starter deck. You can get it from month six of Shattered Stars. And you can also get it in the Cryo Scorch starter deck. There's one copy of it in there. That is why I'm less excited about a Gorgon's Gaze reprint. I really, really want to see a PTA reprint. And maybe even a Shield reprint in one of these. Because not that Shield necessarily needs a reprint. It is in base set. So it is act like actually the base set booster boxes that is in there. So is Tsunami. So we don't really need them. But it would be nice to get them just due to how high power those cards are. And I think that but if you guys really, see, really do want a PTA see reprint. We'll see. You can legitimately pick this up. With the three packs that come inside and be able to dive into Elestrals in an incredible way. And that gets me really amped up. And I'm That is true. Uh, there are a couple of cards missing here. Like Mustation maybe would have been a good card to throw in here maybe. Um, but for the most part, he hit, he hit like a lot of the really good cards that like you could get. Um, you got the Ambrosias, obviously. Uh, you don't have all the necessarily amazing counter runes. There's no, well, you have probably the two most high power counter runes currently in the game in Tsunami and Gorgon's Gaze, but still no PTA, still no um, 
Still no, uh, what is it? Uh, Shadow of Achilles. You do get the Altar of Stars, which is nice, but Altar of Stars is much less important in, like, a Chronodile deck, or at least in this starter deck with all the cards. Like, really, the only card that can, like, benefit off of it is a Dratagua, which isn't, like, that's not, like, a bad card to get into, but it's not, like, the best. So, the Altar of Stars, maybe not the best card to throw in here, but the fact that it is game, being reprinted, that's really nice. We don't really need these starter decks to be super competitive. They can, like, you can make them as competitive as you want. They don't need to be super super competitive. We just need reprints of some of the hard-to-get cards. For example, the PTAs. Uh, the Altar of Stars is also pretty hard to get because the current... Currently, the only way to get Altar of Stars is from, uh, is from base set. It, there, it's not in any starter decks. It's not in any Shattered Stars. You can only get it from base set, uh, and it's a foil rare. So it's a very difficult card to actually get. Um, so the fact that it's being reprinted in the set, really, really nice. Um, glad to see that. Super excited for some of these staple reprints as we continue to commit to ensuring that this game is not super high cost to get into and you guys can play with your friends and get these reprints of these staples. And that is true. Yeah, that's 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 the goal of Elestrals. Have a fun to play TCG that's not that's not crazy expensive. But we still need the PTA reprint. <laughs> so that is your Chronodile SD. Technically, we are getting a PTA reprint in daybreak we are getting the full art uh pta which is really really or is it in daybreak i forget was it in daybreak did he say it was in daybreak or did he say it was yeah he said it was in daybreak right i'm not going crazy i think i might i might be going crazy I, he said it was in daybreak i'm not going crazy right May have said it was in somewhere else. I, we know the PTA reprint is coming. The Gorgon's Gaze reprint, Next to the Gods, all these full arts are coming. That's the issue with that, though. They are only full arts. Um, so you're realistically only getting, like, one per booster box. Uh, and it's not even a guarantee that you're going to get, like, the PTA. So we need PTA in a starter deck at the very least. So. <laughs> nice. Nice. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this this is this is fine. I maybe would have preferred a little bit more of a little bit more Luminate, but uh, this is totally fine. I think twelve Leviathan. First of all, again the sick card of Leviathan. Glad to see that that's going to be very easy to obtain. You get three of this. You get thirty six of that Leviathan. I'm loving that so much because for anyone that missed the Spirit video, um, uh, where he revealed all the spirits for Daybreak, that Leviathan art is probably my favorite spirit art ever like so far it's i absolutely adore it it is so so good i will be playing that in every single one of my decks it is so good and that rounds it all out your 60 card deck but I yeah so there it is starter deck includes current dial three sundial two nomad dial two plucky two ta two foamy two tadpuff two galaxy two aetheros i'm a i understand that the aetheros reprint because that was a difficult card to actually get it was a rare it was a hollow rare in kickstarter edition it was a uh non-hollow rare in first edition of base set but it was not it has not been reprinted in any like starter deck so it was a kind of difficult card to to get so i am actually happy that that's getting a reprint um Jotagua, eddie kerbis again i am very happy about kerbis being in here porky tide as well like all the new all the new water cards that's really really nice Back to the Gods, Ambrosia, Poseidon, Trident, Poseidon, Atlantis, Rock and Hard Plays, Argo, Gorgon's Gaze, Altar of Stars, Tsunami, and then the Leviathans, the Illuminates, and the Owl Loons. Excited to see all of that in here. I have plenty of surprises in store for y'all, so let's get to... There's still two minutes to go. Let's see if I'm correct. I'm I'm telling you. We're getting three packs. We are guaranteed... Is that a... Wait, is that a Celestleo? Yeah, that's... A I can't tell. This right here, is that a Celestleo? I said it before in a previous video where I thought that was Celestleo. I think it is. It looks kind of weird. That's obviously Pharaoh Geist. That's Pharaoh Geist. I think I not. I can't say this for certain. I think that's Archolith in the back, but I cannot say that for certain. To those. But let's let's keep As going. As always, these decks are going to come with a brand new how to play guide. Three sealed. Is that Celestleo? I can't tell. I literally cannot tell. But I might have to actually straight up go to the Celestleo video again and look at its card art again because I cannot tell. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. Hang on. I have it here, don't I? Yeah, there it is. Okay, hang on. Right here. So, uh, I've been... It is Celest Celestleo. Okay. It, 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 it does look different. It does look... Di Wait a minute. Is that... I can't tell. Wait a minute. Is that Stellar? 
hang on, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. <laughs> so for anyone that's wondering why I even have this on my computer, uh, I was throwing these cards in the tabletop simulator so I could test with them. Um, and so that's why I have them. But that looks slightly different. First of all, obviously he's looking the other, well, they're both looking to the left. Um, but this is facing, the body is facing to the right, but it's looking to the left. This is facing to the left, looking to the left. But also, this it might just be the lighting that's different. That's orange. That's gold. Is that is that a stellar Celestio? We don't know about a stellar Celestio, right? I'm not going crazy. Is, is Celestio actually getting a star? A, a stellar man. All right. Well, that may have been something fun to find. Awesome. As well as the solar. Deep nice. Deep that's awesome. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Wait a minute. Does that mean? Wait. Hang on. Is Farragut going to have the lunar die? Ooh, it please. Really, cool color palette of really nice. Really nice. Love to see that. That captures what solar is all about. So make sure you get this 19. No, come on. You got you to roll the 20. Where's the 20? No, the Celestials, if we didn't have incredible stellar cards that you can find in these products. And much like we've done with previous starter decks, the stellar rare for this Chronodile starter deck is indeed stellar sundial one of my absolute i was wrong okay so it is it is a serialized stellar i was assuming it was going to be a guaranteed stellar but we still haven't seen the rock in a hard place designs, daniel reyes has done it once again sundial goes from its wonderful yellow color amazing palette, amazing um blue crocodile, yeah that's an epic so color palette love that and again only 99 copies of this card will ever exist all time this is one you most certainly want to add to your collection really nice sundial is just we did see it in the, we, saw, and amazing we saw on the thumbnail all not altar stars uh what was it rock in a hard place new stellar rare maybe stellar for rock in a hard place but listen i'm not done there because i want to continue to elevate and continue to raise the bar every single set so every starter deck has a chance of getting a stellar sundial only 99 decks will have that but every starter deck will also have a chance of getting a reverse stellar rune oh, rock in a hard place. Reverse That's right. stellar. Rock in a hard place can come as a reverse stellar in these starter decks as well at a much higher pull rate than a regular stellar, which is limited to just 99 copies. This rock in a hard place stellar features some incredible Elestrals and the Argo ship itself as stellar. And this is a That's card nice. you definitely want to add to your collection. So I was completely wrong. I thought there was going to be like, um, I, I thought like maybe you would be able, like you would give us, he would give us like two guaranteed stellars. Um, and then the, it would be Chronodile as the chase stellar, uh, the serialized stellar. Uh, I was wrong. No, uh, the serialized stellar is Sundial. And then you're, you have a chance to get Rock and Hard Place as a reverse stellar. That's cool. I don't, I don't mind that at all. I just kind of, I was kind of wishing for a free stellar, you know, I just, I want to get me a free stellar. I really want to bling out my deck, you know, but <laughs> I cannot wait to continue to raise the bar on how we open. But yeah, that's like totally fine. That that's that, that, that makes sense. I really want to make sure that new and, you know, veteran card players alike playing Lestrals open these starter decks, have a reason to open them and get such excitement out of them with those three booster packs, all of the incredible bells and whistles and the chances of pulling stellar sundial and of course reverse stellar rock in a hard place really nice i don't know about y'all but i'm super excited for these brand new starter decks and you're definitely going to pick up a few of them when pre-orders open on july 12th i'll see y'all tomorrow i will definitely be getting three copies of the starter deck i'm not even joking i'm, I'm probably getting three copies of both starter decks because i think i am going to be playing pharaoh geist um uh, toward the end, so I do want three copies of that so I can get, like, three Pharaoh guys just in case I want the play set of it. Um, but, like, uh, this starter deck as well has some really epic reprints. I obviously do want the Altar of Stars. I want the Gorgon's Gazes as well. That's gonna be really, really important. Uh, and then just, just getting, like, the Curbis line. It's just, like, very, very important. Getting all those potentials to pull the Stellars, to pull the Reverse Stellar, not bad. I really, really want to get me all those Leviathans because I really like that uh, that card art. Again, very, that's nah, my favorite Spirit card art in the game so far. Definitely going to be getting three copies of this. Um, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, now I'm just basically looking forward to the Pharaoh guy starter deck. It's uh, going to be interesting to see what's in there. Uh, we'll just quickly, once again, though, take a look at the contents. Again, some um, some amazing stuff. Uh, the Pucky's being in here. I'm kind of shocked he didn't throw a little bit more um, uh, solar, in, solar in here. There isn't actually all that much solar in here. There's what? Um, the only solar cards in here are Chronodial, Sundial, Numidial, and Pucky. Which, realistically, 
to go from Sundial to Chronodial, you you only need one. You you only need one solar, uh, and then Plucky is just a one cost. So technically speaking, if you're be if you're going down like actual like stellar math, one three two two. That's eight different cards that have a cost. Sorry about that. <laughs> a cost of one solar. And yet we have six Luminape in here. I feel like it's a little too much Luminape. I'm just going to say. Um, oh, I think Sundial does have an effect, does have an effect to, that'll, that forces you to expend a solar in order to do something. I forget what, they, what their effects are to be in. We can actually look through it if I'm being entirely honest. Right here. Perfect. Um, expend solar to enchant water to your field. Yeah. Um, and then expend solar water to enchant solar water from your underworld to your field. Special send number the Chronodile. I'm not going crazy, right? If you uh, uh, let me double check, if you open Tadpuff Nomadile, you special cast Tadpuff by expending a water. You normal ascend into Nomadile using a solar. You will expend a solar and a water. So you're going to have in your underworld, you will have a solar and a water uh, and two water to enchant solar and water from your underworld to your field. That that to me is weird. That, that effect is very, very strangely worded because that should basically just say enchant solar water to your field. It, because you expend and then you enchant them. Is it only one or the other? I forget how that works. Maybe you want to get one or the other. I completely, I might have to rewatch that video to, to double check what this card actually does. Um, I, 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 I keep reading that effect as you enchant... No, the slash means or. So you enchant solar or water. So one or the other. Okay, so basically you're expending both and then you're enchanting one. So, okay, I understand. I got it. Um, but yeah, so you go Tadpuff into this. You expend. You're going to have three on it. And then you're going to special ascend into a Nomadile. You're going to have four on it. Uh, and then if you go ahead and cast Poseidon, if you open Poseidon as well, <laughs> I mean, you're in a great spot. And what's... Uh, that's insane. Uh, yeah, if you open Tadpuff, Nomadile... If you open Tadpuff, Nomadile, and then either Plucky or Poseidon, you're already in a great spot. Uh, and obviously, you can also do Apollo in that case. You don't have to go for Poseidon, but you can if you want to. Uh, I would ac I would actually go Poseidon now. I would go Poseidon because Poseidon can then Nexus onto the Chronodile to give it an additional water so it can pop a card. That's... Oh, hang on. That might be insane. I, I kind of already talked about Chronodile, and I'm kind of talking about it again. I might have to play Chronodile, man. I might actually have to play this deck as well. This might be my solar deck. Well, I say solar. It's mostly water, but this might be my solar deck. Um, and then I might actually... I, I'm, I think I actually am going to play this as more solar than water, but maybe not. I'm I'm still uncertain. Um, but I might actually play both Chronodile and... Um, I, I think I'm going to try Chronodile. Uh, I think I am ev eventually, actually, though, going to pick up the... I forget its name. I'm completely... The bug, the Dragon Bug. I forget its name, but that Ascension line. I'm probably going to try that one out as uh, another another deck. I I should really just put all these cards in Tabletop Simulator and just <laughs> test them, shouldn't I? Um, I probably should. Yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. But, um, yeah, that's basically all we got, we got for this. Once again, looking at... The, um, looking at the, the contents. I mean, that's some really good cards. We always love to see the Ambrosia reprint because that's just, a, that's a, that's a staple in every single deck. Uh, awesome to see that. All the, all the really good cards. Some Puckies, the Foamy Tap Off, all the good water cards. The Eddie's Curbis, Porky Tide, awesome cards there. Uh, Atlantis, Rockin' Hard Place, Argo, Gorgon's Gaze, Altar of Stars, Tsunami. Just all of those are crazy good cards to have. Uh, and then the Spirits are honestly not that bad either. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the like button and subscribe for more. Hope to see all you guys in the next video. Goodbye.